gave me 180 pounds for 12 years in the Philadelphia Mission, which they gave for one year service in another mission. I I was born in my own but I was brought up in the I was my own Statues Also Die considers the role artists play as storytellers, educators, activists, and civic designers in monument removal and making. Working across a range of media, including sculpture, installation, performance, photography, illustration, collage, and participatory design, the artists in this exhibition recognize the power that monuments hold as ever-evolving sites of memory keeping, memory collecting, and inheritance. As new generations of people encounter public monuments, they inscribe them with fresh significance and meaning. Organized in the aftermath of this summer's wave of Confederate and colonial statue removal, Statues Also Die asks questions about our commemorative practices and their manifestations of power. As a nation, why have we invested in certain symbols? Over time, how does a monument's meaning change? Whose voices have been forgotten, marginalized, or suppressed? How can we reimagine our memorial practices to include more diverse narratives? While traditional monuments come in many forms, e.g. statues, obelisks, arches, buildings, the works and statues also die, examine and question the power, permanence, and limitations of classically rendered bronze figures on stone pedestals. As the title alludes, this exhibition is, in one way, a memorial to their passing. Artists Doreen Garner, Nate Lewis, Nona Faustine, and Paul Ramirez Jonas wage visceral critiques against monuments to heroicize white men by dismembering, anatomically re rendering, and striking out flesh. Castles, Zandra Ibarra, Jeffrey Maris, and Rebecca Belmore center their own bodies in their work, making vivid how the sculptural language of monuments has been historically denied to black, brown, indigenous, and queer bodies. And Nick Cave, Lee Mixashan Razi and Marisa Williamson reimagine monuments as roving sites for collaborating, being in community, and storytelling. Together, these works eschew the traditions of public statuary and offer new ideas for commemorative spaces that are ephemeral, inclusive, inexpensive, ritualistic, and self-aware. Through conversations and collaborations with others, together we map the impact of their footsteps on the paths we walk together, making new 